Happy New Year. I'm glad that I don't have a fever anymore. Uh, the worst parts of the fever were on Tuesday and Wednesday. It was really bad, but doing a lot better now. Not 100%. Uh, I barely have any sense of smell or taste, but there's enough there that if I make food spicy enough, you know, it still seems almost normal. But uh, anyway, whether right or wrong, good or bad, society at large, or a pretty big percentage of society at large, feels negatively about kids being around drag or LGBT adult performances, as well as the teaching of gender fluidity and sexuality in early elementary schools. And yes, I fully understand that if you really break it apart, society has double standards about a lot of this stuff. And yes, some of it is leftovers of anti-LGBT attitudes in general. But you're not going to magically make society acknowledge or take ownership of any of those things. That sort of change takes time. But it seems that since 2015, when gay marriage was federally legalized, many LGBT activists and allies have acted as though we should have instant exponential change. We can't pretend that a significant segment of society doesn't feel the way they do about this stuff. We can't just call people something that ends in istrophobic. We must stop going out of our way to introduce kids to these concepts. Yes, I understand that the DSM-5 and a whole bunch of important organizations around mental health say that the direction that we've been going is the right one for mental health. But you can only go completely against huge swaths of society so much before they start to retaliate. Or before it retaliates, I should say. Again, it doesn't really matter whether society at large is right or wrong, good or bad, rational or irrational, you know, or whether people are getting good information or they're getting disinformation. Society has a lot of power, and if we continue to ignore the fears that are coming from that power, it's going to come with a heavy cost. Besides the extreme potential for more violence... I worry about the kind of authoritarian heavy hand that could come down on the LGBT community as a whole. That is, if we don't at least start to tone down on a lot of this stuff by at least a little bit. Just saying.